Now, hey everybody, welcome to Couch Creations on Sunday night. I know it's a little bit odd. Um, we're giving everyone plenty of time to map over from the private group to here, because once again, Facebook decided that they were gonna completely change everything. And um, I will wait till more of you are here and tell you what's going on with Facebook, how that's going to actually impact Facebook lives from here on out, um, what our solution to the workaround is going to be, and we're just gonna roll with it, because that's all we can do. When life hands you lemons, we're making a horse head read. So you guys actually get to participate and see the horse head read, which will be available for sale after we complete our tutorial today. Um, it is going to be a little bit of a lengthy process because there are so many different things that you have to do in order to make it work. Um, so we're just gonna give everyone a little bit of extra time because I posted on my private group that we're in the public group because Facebook has prevented us from broadcasting live in the group for now. And then we're just gonna go ahead and move forward and get started on our horse head read. So who is with us, babe? So, give me a second. So I just had to adjust the sound. Okay. Um, Donna, she said, can hardly hear you. I just turned up the volume. And I'm talking a little bit lower well, today. We had to reset the whole Mevo again. So that's why oh. the sound went back to... Preset? Preset, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it'll be a work in progress and adjustment to happen today. But, like I said, I just... I almost expect things to go wrong when we get ready to do our broadcast. Um... So we can just work with the limitations of what we're given, right? And we're in the public group, not the private group. Yes, we're in the public group today, but that will change next week. I think I have a workaround for it that will put us back in, um, back in the group. Yeah. But um, hopefully, yeah. But Mevo will probably be um, sadly saying bye bye, except for the private group because of what Facebook has it has done. Mevo will be going away for the private group. Probably. For the private group, yeah. But we have a workaround for that, so. So Donna said hi, Lynn, Kathy, Patricia, Connie, Carla, Janet. Sandra said she's really excited to see this one, loving the colors. Yeah. Faith, Cheryl, Brenda, Marie, Doris, Belinda, Carol, Cammy, Diane, Cynthia, uh, Angela, Susan, Patty, Teresa, Teresa, and Linda. Okay. And I know that people are probably going to pop in, but let me go ahead and explain what you're going to need to put this together. You will need the horse head frame, which I believe I got from the wreath shop because I think Craft Outlet or Trendy Tree had one that had the actual tinsel ties on it, which I don't want the tinsel ties for it. I just want it um, just the frame itself. You'll need... God, I'm trying to see what the dimensions on this are. It looks like 23 by 14 inch piece of needlepoint canvas so that you, we're actually going to build our frame just like we did on our flower wreath. You will need black burlap. If you want to do the black horse, if you want to do any other burlap horse, you can just get whatever color burlap you prefer and you'll be able to make a wide variety of horse head wreaths just from what we show you today. So you can make the unicorns, you can make yep. just a regular horse, you can do fantasy horse, whatever you wanna do. But we're doing Halloween because we're wrapping up this month with all of our Halloween tutorials. And Donna, since we are in the public group, yes, you can share it. Yes, share away. You just cannot share a private group or you cannot share other people's videos yeah. on Cat's private group. Um, you will also need four inch zip ties, which you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, wherever zip ties are sold. You will need black embroidery thread and a needle. Um, you will need black pipe cleaners cut in half because we're only gonna use half inch lengths. And then um, whatever color you want to do your mane, we are using gold, orange, and red metallic deco mesh and they're all cut to 10 inch pieces, so 10 by 10. Um, so while people are joining, I'm going to basically take my horse head wreath frame. And the reason why I did it so big is because it will actually all fit in the size of the horse head frame. So I am just taking a black Sharpie and going along the outside edge of this. I don't want to do the ear because I'm going to leave the ear out. 
and then we'll go all the way around. Cynthia, so try adjusting the brightness on your side. We've got it pretty bright. We've got some some uh, actual commercial lights. Yeah, uh, everything. So, yeah, I'm like making sure bright. that they're all pretty much on. So yeah, we're pretty good. So when you're done, you should have your horse all cut out or all drawn out. So then that puts our Sharpie away. And then we're going to cut out the plastic mesh right along for the canvas actually right alongside where we have trimmed everything and this will give you a base to attach everything to hi everybody just joining so around we go and you can get this needlepoint canvas at walmart you can get it at any of your craft stores like hobby lobby but you will need one that's at least, what do we say, 22, 23 inches long. Yeah. To fill in all the way. And she's using her good old Betty Cracker scissors. Yeah, because I don't want to use my really good sewing scissors or your kitchen shears. So I'm just going to go from this way down and finish cutting this. like so and then this stuff it depends on if you want to keep it or recycle it for something else I only buy this to create the background for our work wreaths so and again remember his ear was completely left off intentionally and what we're going to do is take the four inch zip ties and we're actually going to attach the canvas to our frame. Hey Jean, no, she got this uh, frame at the wreath shop. I yes. Believe, right? From the wreath shop. I believe the wreath shop. One of them had it and it, I'm actually going to flip this over to the other side because I want my, the little plastic piece to the, the back side and not the front side. So I'm actually just going to flip this over to make sure that it's on the right side. I kind of did a quick sample one and it was just to throw it together to make sure everything worked okay and when I did it I just threw them all on the front side. And what's interesting is because these are one-sided you can make it go either side. Yes. Depending on if you want the horse to face the right or to the left. Exactly. Yeah. But this will answer your request for people who want the unicorns or um, just a regular horse head, or maybe, you know, you have someone who's a, a horse lover and they want something to maybe match the horse that they compete on, you definitely can do it that way. Our goal is to basically make sure that the canvas is well fastened to the frame. And then I'll cut all these off in a second. Right, Melanie? She said Betty Crocker scissors to the rescue. Betty Crocker all the way, but she never ever dreamed in her wildest fantasies we'd be using them for crafting. <laughs> but, why not? Why not, right? <clears throat> Dollar Tree to the rescue. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Donna. Hi, so Valerie. So, as you can see, I'm attaching it in all the right places. So, anywhere we're going to be working with it. That's awesome. Janet Gilbert said she made one for her granddaughter last year. Oh, very cool. So, yeah. Well, Kaylee's been asking for one. And this will not be hers. I will tear apart the other one and refabricate it the way it should be. And it's very difficult to try to ver find a very good video for this there on is, how to make one. There is no video. They have subsequently pulled the video, although if you look really hard, you can find pieces of people who have assembled it. But I just figured, you know what, I'm going to make it my own anyway. So I'm going to do it my way. And then that way you're not impeding on anyone's licensing rights. So as you can see, I'm kind of putting it in all the places that I'm going to be attaching my burlap to. So just pretty well all the way around. And it doesn't have to fit perfectly. It's just so that it will adhere that needlepoint canvas to our frame. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go through and cut all the pieces off. 
here. I'll probably put one more at the very, very bottom. Not that I'll need it, but... So obviously you guys can do this in any color you want. Mm -hmm. Kat's going to make this one a, you said a nightmare wreath? Yeah, because it's falling with our, um, our falling. theme. Yeah, and then when I looked them up on Etsy, nobody had one of just a black nightmare like a horse. I told Steve it could be like um, the Headless Horseman's horse. It could be um, Ghost Rider's horse that Ghost Rider, the old original Ghost Rider rode, which was a, a horse with flames. So we're going to simulate that look so that it stays into our Halloween theme. So I'm attaching one more to the bottom and we're good. Beverly, no, so this. Um, I don't know, what are the name of that? It's a crafter's um, plastic. It's just a needlepoint canvas. The needlepoint canvas, right. And they make it in different sizes, so you can buy the large. Mm -hmm. It already has the square holes cut out in it. And uh, one more right here. You just cut it out and you zip tie it on. Yeah, like when you go to Walmart, Walmart has it back in their, their embroidery or their yarn section, and it's just kind of hanging on the wall. It probably has a more technical name, but I just see this needle, the plastic needlepoint canvas. Okay, so we are finished with that. And so what you're going to want to do is take your 12 inch pipe cleaners and cut them in half because you're not going to need them at the full length. Um, so what we're going to be doing is attaching our burlap directly to the horse head frame to complete. Um, we're going to do it all the way up to this rail here. Because remember, if you've seen the pictures, the mane goes this way, and then it kind of swirls kind of around this way. So we're not going to putting, be putting our burlap here. So obviously we need a starting point. So I'm going to take my burlap and gather it. And I'm actually going to start down here at the bottom, because this is all going to get covered by deco mesh. And then what I'm going to do is attach it through the canvas and then I'm actually going to loop it on the outside of the rail just like a regular I guess tinsel tie would be but I want to make sure that I have plenty here so it doesn't slide back so I'm not worried about this here so I'm going to flip it over and just tie that so there's my starting point so it's kind of a weird method we're kind of we're going to be making sure that the ends of our burlap go underneath and you're going to kind of follow the edges of your um, horse head frame you can secure that in the middle or you can go all the way up to the top and then just go ahead and i like to look where it's going to go first and then pop this back over the other side. Exactly what we did on the bottom. Just like so. And then twist, twist, twist. So it's weird, it's got fuzz in it. And then you're gonna flip it and you're gonna go back again, tucking the edges of your burlap under because it's not very pretty. And you're gonna go back and then go back down to the bottom and attach it with another pipe cleaner. So back to the bottom. Get it going. It's so funny trying to do pipe cleaners into the canvas. And I like them a little closer together, <clears throat> so I'll actually pull them in. Angela, good question. Uh, I think because she's not cutting the burlap, she doesn't really need to use her mask. No, that's correct. I'm not fraying it, I'm not cutting it, I'm just keeping it all together. And all I'm doing is just taking it, folding it, bringing it back up to the top, and doing the same thing. I'll zoom in for a bit. Okay. There we go. So this one, I'm gonna go up. Over. So all you're doing is just fastening your burlap to your frame 
and there's no rhyme or reason if you don't like to go up and down the way that I am. You can put it any direction you want. I tried to keep it in the same direction that the neck of the horse would be. So I'm doing it all up and down here and then we'll kind of go, we'll follow it around and attach it that way. You can make it bubble more if you'd rather have more of a bubble look to it, meaning not such long strips. So I'm just pulling it up and over. So all I'm doing is using the pipe cleaners to just hold the burlap in place on top of the canvas. And then I just re-loop it again, carry it back up on top. I'm going to go up a little further. This actually looks really cool when it's done, when you get it all together. You can do it any way you want. I'm kind of going up and over the rail so it kind of has something more to bite into before I go all the way back down again. So it's just up and down, up and down. So what questions do you guys have that I can answer for you? So I'm doing this. <clears throat> yeah, I tried tapping your screen some you say you can't hear. Sometimes um, now when you play a video, sometimes it automatically comes mute and you have to tap the screen to turn on the volume. Oh, that's very true. Yeah, Facebook now has created within it, and you guys have noticed that there's been so many changes, unfortunately not positive changes, for people trying to do Facebook Lives. Um, what we found out today through Mevo, because we did have a workaround before, as obviously you guys can attest to, we have been able to broadcast in our private group before, but now Facebook has banned, this is what Steve had told me today, any third party apps from being able to broadcast live in groups. You can private only groups. use, yeah. yeah, you can only use your phone, which, we know presents a challenge in the fact that your phone already has connectivity issues. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a really strong Wi-Fi signal, which is what we've been seeing with people on their lives, is their broadcast gets interrupted, their image gets pixelated. Um, what else happens? Uh, you get kind of yeah. blocky kind of images it doesn't look very you get, pretty you get delays yeah. lots of delays image gaps so that's why a lot of people went to the mevo because it gave us an option to do that and uh, now i do ask when you are folding the burlap is it loose or can you make it a little bit tighter if you prefer you can do it any way yeah. you want i liked mine to kind of hug yours is kind of tight it kind of is. And then you don't have to worry about this back gap because this is where we're going to be attaching the mane. So the mane's going to go just like when we did our flowers. It's going to go over the rail Outside. and into the canvas. So I'm just kind of keeping it a little bit snug right here. And again, popping this in and then over to the top. I just like the neck to look like the neck instead of just because I see ones that they're all just like little bubble pieces. Yeah. Um, I don't really want this to go this way, but I think I'm going to. So I'm just going to finish this and then go back up because I should have finished it. Just made it a little thicker, but I want it to. So as you guys can see, the plastic canvas is great for sticking your zip ties in and your... Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it just does not want to stick. And then we will go back and address all the ugly side 
but now I'm going to go a little bit higher up on my horse head. If you want to stop and put it halfway, you can. And then my burlap just fell to the floor, but that's okay. Mm. That's okay. And you don't want to do too snug because you've got to have room to attach your mane. So if you go too close in, you're not going to be able to attach the mane. So you've got to have some gap. And she took approximately 20 of the um, twist ties, mm -hmm. right? And just cut them in half. Yep. So she's using about 40 twist ties. So all I'm doing right now is just creating an outline around the mesh with the rest of my burlap. So if you want it more furry, more poofier, you can make it more poofier. Mm -hmm. If you want it tighter, like Audrey says, that's definitely within your rights to do that. Even if you wanted to, to make the plastic canvas match, you could go outside and, and paint, spray paint and it. spray paint it the same color. Yeah, Steve was like, do you want me to go out and spray paint it? I'm like, no, I'm okay. We're good. So again, going through up and over and popping it back down into the canvas. Hi everyone, just join in. And we're going to skip the nose for now. So don't worry, we're gonna come back and get the nose. So I'm going to actually go down here. That's why having your handy dandy supply of pipe cleaners is helpful. I'm just doing my outline and then I can go back in and do it more poofier, I guess. Mm -hmm. But. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Patty. Everyone just join. Giving him an outline. And then now we're going to go back in and we're going to fill. So this is where you can go a little fatter, but I need to secure the corner, otherwise it's just going to keep popping up. And where did you get this black burlap from? I ordered it off of Amazon because I needed it right away because I didn't realize how close we were to actually doing this and I didn't have any black burlap. Well, you didn't think you were going to have enough, but it turned out you did. Yes. <laughs> That's very true. So this is what, six inches? This it is... Comes six inches by five yards. Yeah, which is 15 feet. Right. So, I'm just going around, securing it where I want it to. You can, if you wanted to, you could just take the burlap and just fill in the top. Like Sue says, if you painted it, um, obviously it's going to give you a different look. Then this will <coughs> going through. Hi, Vera. Thanks for sharing. Everybody, yes, you can share this video since it's on for a public group. Yes, you can. Thank you, Trisha. She said, spread the love for you. <laughs> Thank you. So now I'm just actually going to go back and forth into the corners. Hi, Dee. Just like this. Hi, Sandra. No problem. We'll post this replay to the public group at the end so everybody can watch the replay. So Sa um, Sandra said she was hurrying home so she could watch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll probably, well, we won't be filled. Hopefully by the time <coughs> she gets home, we'll be done. So, again, fluffing. I just like to keep the ends kind of covered up because <coughs> um, I'm just looking at how I want it to go. I'll probably go, I wanted one more. Kind of laying it in here. I'll make it a little thicker than I want to. 
but I have a little bit more. So I'm gonna stick one in the corner because I want it two more times to go back so that it ends at the nose. That one. And obviously making your pipe cleaners match your burlap is key. And it actually pulled up a muscle structure of a horse. To look at the jawline. To look at that jawline. I'm gonna have to go back. <coughs> Sink. I'm trying to see if this if I can get it to just fit in this one last section, and I think I can. Let me pull this. <coughs> Need it to kind of stay in the corner and not pop up. I'm just going to attach this to hold it in the corner and then kind of poof it out just like so. But I guess this is where it gets hard because this burlap is very stiff to work with. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I'm going to end up having to come back one more time. Unfortunately, I thought I was going to be able to get it. But it won't. All the ups and downs mm -hmm. of pulling it through. You can see how she's doing the twist ties on the back. Yep. That's now, exactly where it's On this going. one, when she's done, she can put a felt piece over the back so you don't see yes. it. Yes. We had talked about doing that too. <clears throat> so this is kind of what I need it to do is fold back on itself and fill in that final section because I want the, the jawline of the horse to sit differently. I want it to actually be, but you can tell that it's a horse and not just a big blob of burlap folded over. So I'm gonna pull this in and then we're gonna take this down. We're going to tuck it. I'm gonna fasten it here and then I'm going to do his nose with the but the remaining burlap that's left. And then because I'm trying to get the get it into the frame. There we go. Grabbing this piece, kind of make it a little bit poofier, just like so. And then we have his nose, which we are just going to take and overlap our burlap on top of. So I'm just wrapping it around his nose and then I'm going to cut the remainder of this off on the back like so. Here's the piece for the ear. So you guys don't go, well, you missed his ear. I know. <laughs> I'll get it in there. I just want to make sure this is in tight enough. I'm actually going to just temporarily use a pipe cleaner to hold this in place for me. So it's just a temp fix. Because now, this is where you take <clears throat> I have black embroidery thread <clears throat> on a thick needle and I'm just going to go around. I already have it pre-threaded so you don't have to watch me thread a needle. We're going to tie our knot in the end and we're actually going to secure the burlap to his nose just by going through feet. It's a lot easier with a needle than to try it. Like Steve's like, why can't you just do it with a pipe cleaner? I'm like, to go through that much deco mesh is just gonna be a nightmare. Literally. Good nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> no pun intended. So we're just gonna lightly sew this 
all the way around just to keep the burlap around that frame. <clears throat> and all you're doing is wrapping around the outside. Mm -hmm. right. Yep, just wrapping it around. And then it had a little bit left. Oops. Some people do it with yarn. You could do it with yarn. I just did not have a needle to do it with that was thick enough before we went live. With all our lovely technical issues we had, yeah. it didn't exactly work. So my goal is to get the corners snug in there. And apologies, I know you can see basically what she's doing. You can see the outline, but because it's black, it's hard to see in the camera. It is, and I'm going to probably need more thread. I thought I had enough thread on my embroidery needle, but apparently not. So, I'm going to finish this and then add another one. Lock it in? Yeah, but... I'm just going to do it. I already did it when I brought it through, but I'm just going to tie this. And then turn it off. And then I'll be able to take his other piece off. Well, I guess they're going to get to watch me thread a needle. Hey. Here we go. Yeah, no, actually I don't. I just wrap it around the needle the old fashioned way. And then, should be. I like those ones that you, the old fashioned needle things where you put the, the wire through and then you pull those out. Mm -hmm. Those are I the best needle. ones. But you can do it this way as well. I just need to make sure I pull all my threads in. No, I left one out. This is where That's I think the yarn good. might work better. I thought I had it all. Usually I do. The last one went really fast. Multiple threads, right? The longest part of my tutorial, threading the needle. It should go. It's just so thick. There we go. There we go. And I try to make it doubly thick. Mm -hmm. Doubly. Is that a technical term? Just double thick. Doubly thick. Yeah. Tie our knot in it again. Because we're going to need this to go around his ear. Okay, horse. Hi, Kim. Hi, Peggy. Uh, little Mary, she just what did I miss? Uh, uh, she's doing the horse head wreath frame. This one's for Halloween. It's uh, black with uh, gold, orange, and red mane. She calls it a nightmare. It's becoming a nightmare, <laughs> <laughs> but not that kind of a nightmare. So we're just going around his nose, fastening his nose on. So we're just kind of doing like a wrap stitch where it just wraps around. There you go. Wraps around that burlap mm -hmm. <clears throat> to keep it on our horse's nose. And we don't have to worry about it so much being on this <clears throat> part. We just need to attach it to our actual frame. So I'm trying to keep it pretty, pretty tight so that when I go and pull my, um, my temporary holding yeah. mechanism of a twist tie, mm -hmm. it should stay just perfectly. Yeah, Jean, we just didn't have the, the yarn needle that was large enough for the yarn, so we used a smaller uh, needle. This was, oh, we forgot to get that. So again, we're going to knot it, cut this off, 
And then I can actually go through and take this off and pull this out. And we're good with his nose. This actually needs to go underneath. And now, what did I do? For, oh, there it is. This is the piece for his ear. So we are going to attempt, because I'm working with the end, which likes to fold. We're going to attempt to do something similar with his ear. Oop, that's too thick. Again, we're going to put our placeholder in to hold everything in place till we get it all stitched. It actually looks really cool when you finish it. Go. It's just the pipe cleaner and the burlap. Don't like to be friends right now. Okay. And I'm going to trim. And then this is going to get wrapped around the back. Just like. I don't think this is going to be enough, so I'm not even going to start. So this is our technical component. So once we stitch this on, then we get to attach his mane, which is where all the decomesh pieces come into play. I should just get one of those auto needle thingies. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because embroidery thread is just not the happening thing. Like you get it and then it just, I want to make sure I have all the threads in because I end up getting them all but one like that one, all but one. Lick your, lick your fingers and it helps to keep them together. I know, but I'm trying really hard. There it goes. Did I get it? Yes. I just need to pull the other piece. There we go. I know, I'm like, <laughs> go! So a little bit of sewing, a little bit of attaching it with your pipe cleaners. You could do it with twist ties. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so once you, get, once you get the air done, you can pick it up and show everybody. Yes, I will. So. And I'm going to stitch it around his ear really quick to attach it to the frame. Okay. And you just kind of want to do a loose stitch to go all the way around his ear. Get it to stay on. You could, Nancy, go ahead. Nancy, if you have no picture, just lock, close out and, and go back in. That's all you have to do. Sometimes it happens. What's that? She says she has no picture. Of us? Yeah. Oh, she said there it is. <laughs> kind of love that. Yeah. Jean said you're doing a terrific job. Valerie said you're looking awesome so far. Okay. Thank you, Charmaine. She said she loves all your crafty ideas. Thank you. This one we've wanted, Haley's wanted it. So I was like, oh, let me do one for Halloween and then we'll throw the other. She wants a unicorn with the rainbow mane. So I was like, let me just finish this one and then we should be good. <coughs> yep. Going around one more time. 
secure my mane to the back. Will I have enough? Yes. There we go. We can take my wannabe holder out. So keep in mind those go in the back. Move this stuff out of the way. I think what I'm going to do is I have more of my main, the canvas is just out too far. So I'm going to trim this back a bit on this side. Because the last time when we did it on the other one, mm -hmm. we did it in on the inside and not the outside. Mm -hmm. Up and over. Because <laughs> I didn't want to see his mane sticking out. Okay. Hi, Lou. So this Come. is what it looks like from Set. the front. Set it down on the thing. There you go. Set it down. Yeah, that's good right there. Like that? No, I mean stand it up. I just meant. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. So now we're actually going to start attaching his mane. And I'm going to worry about cleaning up the back afterwards. Not right now. So, um, let's see, his mane, let me make sure I can take my needle and put my needle away. Um, Charlene said that, that she hoped that they asked you to star in the new craft show coming up on TV. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to go, honestly. I just folded over his edge. So, um, I think we're going to go gold orange gold, orange, and then red, right? Mm -hmm. So again, you're gonna need your half pipe cleaners. And we have to put two that is gonna go in front of his ear, which is his forelock. So we're gonna do one gold, one orange, and one red. So these are the ones that we're going to actually, these are 10 inch pieces cut to 10 inches of deco mesh. So we are actually going to fold them different, we're going to actually do corner in to corner in, and then you're going to scrunch so you get it to where it looks like this, and you're going to twist it and flip it back up like we did for the petals of the sunflower, of the sunflower. Right. and you're going to put your pipe cleaner through and not pull it all the way out like I just did, and we're going to twist it. Hi, Shirley. To keep it in place. And we want his forelock to lay like this. So when you go to put it in, you've got to be very conscientious that you don't keep it up, that it's actually laying this way forward towards the front of his head. Curling forward. Yeah. Curling forward, right. So we're going to take this, and now this is where we get to go <clears> in <throat> and attach this directly into our canvas piece. Barbara, the, the horse head frame is from the wreathshop.com. Mm -hmm. So again, we want it to face forward, facing forward. It doesn't have to be like perfectly laying there because there is a way that we will come back and attach it to where it stays facing forward. Like if it's up too far, this way, there's a way that we're going to be able to attach it from the back and be able to keep his forelock facing forward. That's, that's not the right one, sir. Uh, this that one? Just, yeah. Okay. That one was left over from the other one. From our demo, our yeah. demo one? Yep. So again, you're going to stretch it out, fold it in, fold it in, scrunch. You're going to twist it so that it faces, so that they're facing the same way. And then we're going to twist. <clears throat> and then again, we want his mane facing forward. So we're going to make sure that it gets placed this way in that canvas piece. 
Lou says, please post the unicorn when you get it done. My granddaughters love unicorns and I would like to make one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't be posting the video. It'll be basically exactly what we're doing here. You're just going to change out your burlap colors. Right. And add the unicorn horn to it. Yeah, and add the unicorn horn, which I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So, this is getting it to go through the actual deco mesh. This piece. Jane said, looking forward to seeing it when you start adding color to it. Yeah. Hi, Adele. Yeah, Jean said, you can't see it. It's kind of behind your dark, your shirt behind it. I know, right? Yep. So, again, it's supposed to lay like this, and it will. Let me get his red one in, because these are all the ones that go in front of his forelock, his, that make up his forelock, not his mane. The forward part of the horse's mane. So again, in and in, taking them, twisting them, flipping them, and then putting our pipe cleaner in, like so. Twisting, and then making sure it goes facing forward. And this will be the last one that gets attached to in front of the in ear. front of his mane. Yes. And these are all ten inch deco mesh cut to ten inches. Yes. Just fold it differently. So I'm going to take these. There we go. It's being stubborn going through parts of the burlap. Twisting. So again, laying, laying this way, laying this way. They fight you at first, and obviously, the closer they get to the spool, the, the more, more they are. Yeah. yeah, like the ones that Steve that I have sitting up here are obviously the ones that are right, but it should look like. And it will when I'm done because I'll fix them to where they lay fast in this way but that's how it's going to look so they will lay this way right now they're kind of there but there's a way we're going to secure them to where they will stay this way so now we're going to actually go and do the back part of his mane and I think well I'll rotate I was going to originally do red but now these ones are going to face the different direction. So, end to end, twist so that they go behind one another. Facing the same way, yeah. So they face the same way, and then right where my finger is is where the pipe cleaner is going to go. So I just move my finger, and then you twist. See, so now this way, we want our main to go the opposite direction right. so these are all going to face this way and keep they're all going to go this direction all the way down the total part of our mane so and i was she's doing this one for halloween yeah she's doing it it's called a nightmare she's going to do it with obviously black burlap and then gold and orange and red this is yeah my nightmare horse so Again, the more we get, it's like when we did our flower, the flowers would pop up until we got more of them down and then they lay. Mm -hmm. It'll be the same way. So as we continue to add with the deco mesh, I guess they kind of start to lay or stick to one another. Hi, Donna. So. Yes, you guys can like and share. Appreciate it. Yeah. This one, not a problem. So, again, same way. We want the main to be this way, facing the, down, the opposite right. direction. Right, we want them all pointing away. So we're going to, it helps if you actually open your pipe cleaner. And Chad said on this one, you want about 48 to 50 pieces of the deco mesh. So right now we have about 16 of each color might not be enough so we might have to make a couple more but 
Yeah, we're just kind of winging it because I haven't made one to know what will they need to look like. So again, they will continue to lay, but right now they're kind of going against the grain of how they've been cut, but they'll get there. So what questions do you guys have that I can answer for you? It's always a challenge trying to do something new. And this one's actually not going to have a bridle. A lot of you guys have seen the horse head race with a bridle. This one will not have a bridle yeah. because he's a nightmare horse. He's untamed. So he will not have said bridle. So I'm just poking them into the canvas right behind his in the canvas and then around the frame. Barbara, the I think I told you earlier the, the horse frame is from the readshop.com. Um, so we're just kind of following it on around. Tom said it's gonna look nice. She said saying hi from North Carolina coast. Well hello from the North Carolina coast. And then hi Marion, she said checking in late from Michigan. No we'll worries. have to watch the replay for the first part looking great so far. Yeah, and I mean, there's people who are going to lay their burlap a different way. I don't think there's any right or wrong way. It just helps to have the canvas attached so that you know where you're going to want to lay it. Okay. I'm grabbing the wrong one. Here it is. So I'm just following the main all the way down with our canvas, just like so. It'd be so nice if we could do this. I remember that's what you kept doing every time we would do the daisy wreath. You were like pushing it down. Yeah, sometimes you just have to. It helps it start it. <laughs> yeah, eventually yeah. it'll get there. Yeah. I think once it gets to more towards the bottom, yeah. it'll get there. And then there's, like I said, there's a little tip you can get if you don't like the way that they're laying you can just kind of you'll fasten the ends down but i'll show you because we're going to do it up yeah. here hi donna yeah she's using her wood burner to cut the mesh yes we did oh, yeah the other one we did not because we kind of threw it together kind of haphazardly just so we were like what is that even going to look like how do we teach it if we've never built it Go in and around. Yeah, you really want the main to be um, really full, Jean. So uh, it's about 40 to 50. She might not use as many, but she's going to use quite a bit. I'm going to attempt to. The last thing I want to do is make it too thin. So I guess I can do it this way so you guys can see. His mane is still laying this way. Red. Yeah, Donna says she's been using the wood burning tool and loves the non fraying. Yes. She says she loves and does a lot of craft stuff. Yeah, and then because this one was supposed to be kind of like fire, is the reason why we went with the metallic deco mesh. You don't have to, but I think like if you did a unicorn one and you used like a beige or a white burlap, then you can use like those ombre colors of like pink and green. Mm -hmm. And get all those going that direction. Even for the, even for the hair or the the mane, they had the ombre beige and brown too. That'd be pretty. Yeah. yeah. There's a couple of them that I've, I've been pinning that I want to do. We'll see how well this one goes. And then, um, obviously, each one's going to be mm -hmm. a work in progress. Cindy Gold. said she just bought a horse head and is following the way you did it. Now she understands how to do it. That's good. Yep. So. Hi, Christina. She said, it's just getting to join. We had a hugely successful event for Nick today for uh -huh. live music, raffles, crafts, and food. Thank you all for the love and support. That's awesome. That's awesome, Christina. I know. He's like the true miracle, right? Oops. So we're sitting yep. here twisting. Yeah, Jean said sparkling very nice to the black. Yeah. That was the whole... I think that was the intent, wasn't it, babe? Mm -hmm. It's just, I think, a matter of determining placement. So this is all going to be 
about placement and all I'm doing is poking it through um, the needle point canvas and then wrapping it around the frame. Mm -hmm. So, and it will start to lay the way it's supposed to, which is main like. Um, Jean said, how much space between pieces of mesh Ken is adding? It's right next to each other, basically. Yeah, I am. As close as you can get to each, each piece. That's why it's going to take so many pieces, because you're really trying to fill in, fill in all the... You're trying to fill. Fill in all the gap. Because you don't want to go too thin up here and then go, okay, wow, I still have a lot left. I don't think... Well, since this is the first one, I haven't built one prior to this. I, I can't say, like, okay, you're going to do three in the front, and then you're going to have approximately, like, 15 on the back, mm -hmm. and then we're going to be filling in down here. I don't have that yet. This is a, a work in progress. This was uh, figure out how to do it on a live. So yes, Jean, each mesh piece is going in snug to the next one. Yes, I'm putting them pretty close to each other. So I'm kind of and pushing. Audrey said right now the main reminds us of feathers. <laughs> yeah, I know, trust That's me. Okay. That's exactly what I told Steve when I made, I'll show you my mock-up yeah. one that I had done. And I was like, he looks like a rooster. Uh, Deanne, the wood burning tool, um, we can explain it. She has other videos as well. It's basically you just have a wood burning tool or a soldering iron. And you need to have a good glass piece of cutting board um, that's smooth on one side. You just basically plug the wood burning tool in, make sure it gets hot enough, and then you just cut the mesh right with the wood burning tool. Yeah, and it, so I'm just pulling his... It keeps it from fraying, and it basically melts and... Uh, cauterizes. Cauterizes the ends. Yeah. So I'm just doing that same thing. And I'm making them to where they're flipping. Loretta, she got the horse head wreath frame from uh, the wreathshop.com. I think Craft Outlet has it too. They do. Some of them have the tinsels on them, and if they do, you can cut them off. I wanted one that did not have any tinsel ties on it at all. So I think I'm almost positive mine came from the wreath shop. But I bought it. It's been a while. Like, yeah, at the beginning of the year. How much were they? Uh, 15? 15. I think. I'm thinking. And I'd really have to dig through my receipts to find that one. Or you guys can look it up online. Because you want the one without the tinsel ties on them. Yep. So, again, poking them in. And then twisting them around. But trying to keep them all going in the same general direction. Right. Gotta love it. So, this is basically the same process over and over and over. It's just twisting these on, changing the colors, getting them all the way down to the very bottom of the main. And then we're gonna fill in that canvas space with more of these. And and I think they go, they'll lay this way. So they're actually going to be laying up, mm. kind of facing this general direction, and they'll fill all the way in here. Um, let's see. Peggy, we're not sure what type of wood burning tool. I can go and take a look at it again. I, this one doesn't really have a name on it. It did when we bought it, but it doesn't, doesn't really have one on the case. I think this one's like almost a no-name brand. Yeah. You can post a... We can post the link when we're done. So I'm trying to get, trying to flip these over so that they will eventually feather down. Are you looking? I think it's a, seriously, it's a no-name brand. I mean, it has a name. Oh, we moved the thing. It doesn't have a name on it. You'll just have to post the link. 
from Amazon? Yeah. Because it's a no name. It doesn't even have your um, the instructions in there. I know. It comes in a black case with uh, like an orange um, frame around it. Yeah. So it's around $15. But I mean, you can get any type of wood burning tool that works good. They have them at Walmart, they have them at Michael's, at Lowe's. So we're trying to get his mane to feather in the same direction. And it's just a matter of getting the deco mesh to unstick to each other. Yeah, this is not Nick Criticos. This is Nick uh, Christina's cousin. Yeah. And Christina can fill everybody in on what happened to Nick. Donna, the frame cost, Kat says, is around $14 or $15. I believe. But that was way, way long ago. So I'm trying to get his mane to lay the way that it's supposed to, which is slightly, slightly turning downward. Mm -hmm. Getting all of the pieces <laughs> to continue to lay <laughs> in that way. I know, right? Oh, red. And then, of course, I am not liking the red because it's so curly because it was so close to the end of the rail yeah, it was. that it's giving you this. So you're not even getting the true points that you're looking for. So we'll work with it. We'll make it work somehow. So you just really want to twist your mane. And then move them up. I'm trying to poke it in the canvas. Okay. Let's see. in the way of all the other ones. Wow. Okay, it is not that difficult to poke that in there. Yeah, Kaylin, once you basically had everything cut out, you could definitely sit down in front of the TV and just poke all the pieces Poke in. all the pieces through and... Yeah, that one was being stubborn because I had <laughs> another pipe cleaner in the way from the frame. Again, attempting to get them to lay the way that they're supposed to, which is in the same general curly direction. And I keep redoing the same ones at the top, trying to get them to twist. They'll get there. I just gotta stop fussing with it. Donna said loving the color combo. This is a different color combo. Yeah. Just cause like I said, it's I wanted Halloween. it Halloween-ish. Nobody has one out there. Yep. So that's the only reason we did. I looked for a black burlap horse head with like a fire mane. Not there. So I was like, okay, well, we'll make one. And see what we think. So again, kind of moving our burlap so that the mane will fit on our frame. I'm giving it a couple twists. Yep. We're slowly making our way down. Valerie said, best horse wreath I've seen. You kept the true look, which oh, is good. I tried. Brenda, yeah, at the very end, we do have a really good eye that she's going to put on at the end. Yeah, not like the... What I've been seeing is people are using like jewels or, or yeah. gems, and I'm like, uh, no, I actually went and found a real horse head eye. Well, not a real one. Well, <laughs> obviously. One that looked like a real one. It's a glass one. Yeah, it's a glass eye. A glass eye. So we're trying to keep them flaming, fiery. Um, for the deco mesh, Jean asked, so you're actually going through the burlap? Not through and the, the burlap. Mesh? No, you're just going through the plastic. The plastic on the edge? Canvas on the very edge. Yeah. So I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. 
Let me tie that one in. So if I turn it this way, I'm pushing it backwards like this. And here's that canvas. So I'm going into the canvas and around the frame. As close to the canvas as you can get. Yes. And I'm moving the burlap out of the way. So I'm putting my mane right next to it. So, and I need to move my burlap back over, but I moved out of the way. <laughs> Probably going to end up having to put another, um, whatchamacallit, twist tie. Red. Yep. So we're slowly getting to the bottom. And it's funny, you don't have to. There are some people who look at the, the horse head thing and they don't like the fact that the mane comes so far down in the front. If you don't want that, then run your burlap all the way to the bottom mm -hmm. and just give him a mane and leave it like that. You don't have to feather it the rest of the way in. You can just end it. Or yeah, you could definitely do purple for Mardi Gras. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, you could, could do make a parasol any color, horse. Any color combo you want. You could do a white unicorn with yes, with uh, like a rainbow mane, anything, yeah. Exactly. So again, poke. I can always grab the one that has the shortest <clears throat> the shortest pipe cleaner to go in. No problem, Claudia. She said, came in as you started the main, we'll watch the replay. Oh, uh, gotcha. She said, tons of rain here in northeast North Carolina. Wish you can send some our way. I know, right? Yep. I'm actually going to fix this because this is driving me crazy. <clears throat> I'm going to... Oh, well, that's great. Diana said Craft Outlet has the 23-inch horse head wreath form for $3.50. Ooh. That's a great deal. That's Snag awesome. it. <laughs> Without... Um, without the tinsel ties? Without the tinsel ties, yeah. Where did you go? So, oh. I'm trying to fix my burlap. Because I pushed it too far to show you. Yeah. And I wanted to see. A stay. lot of people are just saying their thoughts and prayers out to uh, Christina and Nick. Oh, very She good. said she's going to post in the private group his uh, update. So. Good. Okay. Uh, Valerie said, Kat, you amaze me with how you teach, explain, if y'all are not in your private group, you're missing out. <laughs> well, technically, <laughs> yeah. today they weren't, because thank you, Facebook, for making, wow, I was telling Steve, I can't believe that. So now any live event camp that you purchase will not allow you to record live in Facebook. In a private so, group. In a, well, no, in any group. It doesn't matter if it's free or paid. No groups can post lives. You can post live on a page, but you can't post live in a group or an event. Well, but we're in your group right now. And we're we're on a live. page. It's Cat's Creations Facebook page. It's not a group. Oh, that's true. That's the key difference. Yes. So, what I see coming, prediction, is that Facebook's going to start, like you guys said, I think someone alluded to the fact that Facebook's going to start finding a way to charge groups, and that's going to be one of the perks is, hey, you can use your live event camera in your group if you pay, a fee. You pay so much money per month. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going to end up happening. But that's Facebook, right? Yep. That's just the social media. I know it's Facebook, right? They can do whatever they want. It's their social media platform. We don't have to like it, but unfortunately, for now, we have to play by their rules, which... Oh, Christina did post an update. She says, yeah, Nick was hit by a van as a pedestrian at the end of May. Uh, he had part of his skull removed. Ooh, wow. Looking good. And then replaced wow. a few weeks later. Recently, it became infected, and it was discovered that the bone had died. Oh. That's sad. So they were on a search for a neurosurgeon in New Orleans to take on the task, and they finally did. Well, praise God that yeah. they found someone that is able to do that. Yep. Keep I sending us updates, Christina. We'll keep praying for them. Exactly. That is a true miracle. Hi, Brenda. She said, hello, everybody from Canada, Manitoba. Ooh, very cool. Thank you for sharing and liking. So now... I'm almost, I think I have like two more, and then I will technically be at the end of my main. So you can see that it's already dropping below. 
the um this yeah. is dropping below the main so I'm gonna probably add one more and then we're gonna what we do is we go back and forth so we're gonna start here and continue to trace the burlap line and then we're gonna fill but you're not filling every single one of those needlepoint canvas holes just like when we did it on the right. sunflower we don't fill them all just as close as you can doesn't yeah it fill it enough to where <clears throat> um, we're good so hi nancy this is the horse head uh, wreath the that she's nightmare. doing she's calling this a nightmare this is going to be a halloween one <laughs> this is my nightmare this was supposed to be in a private group, but we're still having problems between our Mevo camera and the Facebook private it's, group. It has not, nothing to do with Mevo. It has well, everything Facebook. to do with Facebook. It's all Facebook, yeah. Yeah, it's Facebook. When, and then here's what, here's the other challenge, right? Because people are like, oh, yeah, but everybody else is doing them in their private group. They're, they're still able to do their private group videos only if their internet service allows them the ability to broadcast. This is going, it needs to go over, so it'll hang. Um, so people that are public, or like that are posting in a public page, that's what it is, it's a page, it's not a group. So we're not impacted by posting on the Caps Creations page. It's when you go into a group that now Facebook is saying, mm -mm, you can't have Amiibo, you can't have any other outside third party mm -hmm. subscriber to create a, a live. And what everybody in the public forum is struggling with is the buffering, mm -hmm. the pixels, the broadcast interrupted, the, the, delays. the yes. delays, the sound, all that stuff. That is our challenge. So the way that we work around that is to go plug directly in through your ethernet cable or your you know it looks like your phone jack directly into your internet box yep your router yep. so now all we have to do and we look this up there is a way to do that on your apple phone or your, your apple device <clears throat> you can we haven't tried it yet <laughs> we're working on it <laughs> we're working on it yeah and then you'll be able to go live so I will be able to plug my phone in directly to the wall to prevent buffering issues. Hopefully, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's a good uh, idea, Brenda. She said name him Spirit. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going along the bottom. So that's technically what I'm doing is I'm slowly migrating this along the bottom. And then we're going to kind of backfill until we get to the bottom. So same process. Just flipping and going along the bottom. So, like I said, it's a it's a time driven project, but it's not overly hard to do. So now we're just adhering these directly to the the Nancy, cross part. Nancy said, "Love learning to make the rag wreaths." Oh, that was fun, huh? I think I liked doing that too. Just because there's so many people who have fabric. Okay, kind of need this one. Where did you go? It's hiding. There we go. It was hiding with the others. So now we're trying to get these ones to continue that same direction so it's still going to keep coming this way right. kind of moving down yeah these Along ones are the supposed way. to technically kind of go up and over and up and over but that's where you'll come back in and do all your final fluffy so now we're red it still kind of looks like a chicken do you think you have plenty of colors still i think so okay we shall see, because there is no materials list, and we didn't make one beforehand, so I have no way of knowing how many of we'll each to again. cut. Right now we've cut 16 of each color. Yeah, 16 10 inch by 10 inch pieces. Yep. And then you want to make sure, obviously, that they're facing the way you want them to. And I'm going over my bar. 
So I've got to push my deco mesh out of the way. And then, it never fails. I always get the, the top one always ends up being the shortest one. And then the bottom one is like the longest one. But I can't switch them. Hi, Jean. Yep, those are just pipe cleaners cut in half. Yep. So they're six inches in length. And we're back to gold. And as you can see how far they're already hanging down, you can see why you don't need to fill in all the, um, the canvas down here. You just need to adhere to filling in around a burlap piece. Mm -hmm. So we're just defining that edge and going all the way out. So I'm trying as hard as I can to make them even, but it never fails. One's always slightly. So obviously, gals, like you said, she's doing this one for Halloween. She's calling it her nightmare. <laughs> Probably spirit the nightmare. It is my nightmare. <laughs> but you can use any colors you want for a regular horse, you know, lighter just brown, darker brown. Facebook, because Facebook was my nightmare yeah. today. So, and you want to kind of leave these ones kind of, they're still, they're kind of supposed to fan. So they will, obviously, we'll fix it when we get there. And then we'll fluff it. But now it's supposed to all kind of go to the front. And then we'll show you how to fix the ones that don't want to lay the direction they're supposed to lay. So, any questions you guys have? Uh, they're kind of asking as we're going, okay. we're answering. The biggest question is people keep asking where the horse head breathe frame is from. Well, now we all know, right? How yeah. much was it? She so said uh, $3.50. I would score on that one. Yeah, get a couple of them. Yeah, before before the video goes public and then everybody gets them and then you're like, oh, what happened? They all sold out. Because it doesn't tell you quantity available. Yep. Like, they have so many of these available. Okay, fan, fan, keep fanning. Red, okay. One, two, three, twist, and flip. Loretta said, name that horse Fireball. <laughs> yeah, I know. Kind we should hard. have somebody to name him. He well, you already got two names. One is Spirit and one's Fireball. And Facebook. And Facebook. And Facebook. <laughs> Her, my Facebook nightmare. Melody said, you are so creative. Hi, Lindy. Oops. She was watching earlier. She might have got kicked out or she had to go in and come back in. Hi, Denise. She said, running late today. No problem. There we go. We'll post the replay so you guys can all watch the replay. Yeah, definitely. I guess the goal is just to make sure that your your flames are going in the right direction. So we want these obviously to be laying this way. Mm -hmm. So they should be they should be laying like this, which we'll be able to come back in and kind of fan out a little bit more so that they look more like flames and not like things that are all sticking up at the current present time. Reminds me of the horse from uh, Ghost Rider. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was telling you. Yeah. The original Ghost Rider. The yeah. Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider. Yeah, with Sam Elliott. Yeah. Yeah, Sam Elliott was the original Ghost Rider. Yeah. That is very true. Carolyn said name it Flame. <laughs> that is true. We could. And it's funny because this burlap, for some reason, every time I look at it, I think it's like knitted. Like it looks like a sweater. It's kind of but good. it does not feel like a sweater. Not by any means. It does not feel like one. Okay. Go in. There we go. I'm just competing with all the other burlap ones. And then we'll be able to, on the other side, like Steve says, you can take it, you can line the back, you can put a piece of um, felt or 
burlap if you want on the back side and just cover all the mm -hmm. pipe cleaner slash deco mesh. All the ties. Or the zip ties. Yep. You don't see the zip ties anymore. They're gone. We know they're there. The, the twist ties. Yeah. The pipe cleaners, yeah. Exactly. Oops. Trying to. So this was my color combination. Up. I'm having to pick it up so that I can actually poke it through the canvas. There's one. Where is the other one? They're all twisted in here. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Pulling. It's going to look cool. Once we get everything going the way it's supposed to. Obviously. And as you can see right now, look, I haven't even finished, but you can't even see that canvas at the bottom. And that's just me putting nothing but just one layer mm -hmm. here. So we're gonna go back down obviously and thicken it up. But, and I'm only, the orange, red. Are you sure you did 16 of these? Yeah, why? Because I'm like, oh, make our red laying at the bottom? There's a bunch of red at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, a ton of red. Because I was orange. like, I only see like three red, and then there's like 15 or 16 orange. Mm -hmm. There we go. So again, making sure they're going in the general direction we want. It's just trying to find the first one, the short one, because they compete with the other ones. There we go. I know we're we're slowly going to cover up the starter part of our burlap as well by doing this. There's the yellow and the orange. Okay. I'm like listening to all the pipe cleaners on the underside. What are their comments, babe? They're awful quiet. You're never quiet. Right now, it's kind of glitching out on me. Really? Oh, um, oh, that's good, Darlene. She said, "Name them the Grim, the Grim Leaper, or the Grim Reaper." <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> that's too funny. Yep. Lori, yes, that is kind of a loose weave burlap that she did. She yes. just used black. She purchased the black burlap from okay. Amazon. Won't you go? The red of the mesh is from Craft Outlet, for the most part. It's a high foil mesh. Uh, yeah, metallic. Metallic. You can get it in gold and any different type of color. Oh. And eventually we will. Don asks, has anybody purchased the rag wreaths yet? No. No, not yet. They have not. Well, you have to keep in mind that I can't post. Oh, that's one. true. She hasn't been able to post the... Remember, you can't post trademark. So, yep. you just leave them there, mm -hmm. and eventually someone will see them, and they'll go, oh! <clears throat> no, they haven't sold yet. It was weird. Had, what did we sell yesterday? A beach wreath for a school teacher. Yeah. She is putting it in her classroom. So that was interesting. So that will be my first back to school wreath that was not a back to school wreath, that was a beach wreath. So I guess she's doing something themed with mermaids for her back to school class. So now I'm just going and pulling these last ones here to get to the end and then we'll go back in 
and incorporate. We'll be able to take these and pull these in the direction we want it to go because then they'll actually lay where they're supposed to. So I'm going to put one more in the front and then we'll go back and do our second row and then I think that should be it. Did you already have this one posted on Etsy? It's Facebook Live. That's all it is. Yeah, but I mean, did you post the thing already on Etsy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yep. It is already there. So, last one to finish our frame. Whoever buys it gets to name it. <laughs> That's true. I guess they can. It will be theirs, not mine. Okay, so now we're going to go underneath. See how many of these I have left? One, two, three. Denise, it's actually not red and orange ombre. These are all separate colors. It's a gold, uh, orange, and a red, and they're all like a high foil. Mm hmm. Sorry, now I can show you guys what it looks like, except it's overly poofy. So now I'm going to go back in and start filling in the bottom. I'm trying to think, how many did I do? One, two, three. Oh, well, Brenda, what would you price this out at? Six, seven, hold on. Eight, nine, ten. I'm trying to see how many it took me to go across just the bottom. Mm -hmm. It was 10. So I'm trying to make sure I have plenty. Because I was like trying to think, should I do like one row in the middle and then one row at the very bottom? And I think that should cover it if I have enough. Um, <clears throat> I haven't priced at 85 because that's what the current going rate is for the horse headries. Because there's only one out there right now mm -hmm. just one so one two three four one two three four five six seven are you sure mm -hmm. okay well i'm gonna try to do 10 and 10 so um because i have seven orange Five gold and like four red. Explain that one. Uh, I'm sure I counted the 16 on the red one because I was at the very end. And I got my 16th one on the very end. Okay. Well, I'll just run with it and see how it goes. I did cut some extra gold. Oh. Well, okay. Then gold. that will throw me yeah. for a loop. I think I cut like one or two extra. Two extra. Thanks. Okay, so now I'm going to go around the frame. On the bottom. So now I'm just going to border my frame all the way around. Again, still facing the same direction, still toggling the same colors. So these actually weren't really good because I already panned them. Brenda said, nice job on pricing. <laughs> 85? Yeah. Uh, I mean, think about it. You're going to probably go through. <clears throat> You're going to need at least three rolls of each, or a roll of each color deck on that. Yeah, because you round those ones all the way down yeah. to the end. And that's what's left. It's weird, though. I think you, the red was already started, was it not? Well, um, I think from what I had it there and with the red that you used there. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. But did you count those ones? Uh, no, I think I still got 16 out of that red roll. Okay. Just checking. There might be more behind the orange. Um, not many because I pulled the orange all the way out to count. Oh, I'm Loretta, you're funny. What? <laughs> Well, it's not Loretta. It says Loretta Radcliffe. She's an awesome idea. I'm. Oh, never mind. I thought she said I'm Darlene Brooks Parker, but it's not. She said awesome idea, Darlene Brooks Parker. Oh, gotcha. 
they were boofing up the comments. Yep. Wow. They're just kind of hard to read. She has two exclamation points right by the M, so it looks like I'm. Gotcha. So now, like I said, I'm just going down the canvas on the edge where we attach the canvas to the edge of our horse head. We have to kind of fill that in. So all I'm doing is going around the edges now with the decollage so that it, obviously, so your customer doesn't go, hmm, what's that? <laughs> Uh, Why is there a big gap there? Uh, yeah. So, these will actually, I think it's going to turn out really good. It's just going to be a work in progress, so obviously every one that we do from here on out will be like, yeah. do I want The bottom row I'll have to kind of face, point down. This? Yeah, I'll have the to face. The whole bottom of the, the horse. What do you mean? All that decamash has to fold it, down, yeah. It doesn't fold down, it actually kind of goes like a backwards C. So it's kind of hard to see how you would need to make these go. But it's supposed to be kind of like that, see? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to kind of be like right. that. So yeah. It's just because the, the decamash, when you get so many like that, it's so full. The edges on this side are all pointing up. They will. Yeah. Till I get it to where it lays down. Right. But they're supposed to be like. <sighs> Hi, Carrie. Like this. No they problem. Will. They'll all lay technically like this. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm still doing the bottom. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I haven't. I'm just tracing the outline of the frame right now. Oh, Carla asked, so are you going to put a bow on it? No. No. No bow. A nightmare horse would just be like one of those elusive horses that just cannot be tamed and cannot be caught. So he will not have a bow on him. He is meant to just be... Dawn said it's really beautiful. Well, and free. Brenda said she loved the colors. Gail said, beautiful cat, you're an awesome teacher. Thanks. Uh, Sandra said, so it looks like you're doing about three rows along the bottom. I'm trying right now. All I'm doing is like I did one here and then I went down and now I'm doing the bottom rail to see to do I need up. to go back in and fill in the top or will that just be more than enough? So we yeah. shall see. Yeah. Because according to the ones that mm. we've kind of been able to look at a potential materialist, I think mm -hmm. someone says about 50 pieces. But I'm all about, let's make it look good. So if we mm. need to use more, then obviously we're going to need to use more. Carrie, she gets her boxes or shipping boxes from Amazon. Amazon. Um, typical ones she buys are 22 by 22 by 4 mm -hmm. or 18 by 18 by 6. Uh, right? Yeah, 18 by 18 by 6, yep. 22 by 22 by, by four, 4 and 24 by 24 by 4. By but four. you could go all the way up to 6. Yeah. You just can't go any higher than 6 inches on your box. Because the shipping goes through the roof if you go higher than that. Unless you go 16 by 16 by 8. That's the max. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to know where your max is. And then that, for me, helps me determine can I ship it or am I stuck with it? Yep. And you have to just sell it local. Jane says it's turning out absolutely gorgeous. Don, yes, it will have an eye. She's going to do it to, at the very end. Yeah, you got to put his eye on last. <laughs> That's kind of like the finishing touch, right? That would be the embellishment part on this particular read. The eye. With his one eye. Mm -hmm. And I was looking for, I really wanted a red eye. But that sounds kind of eh. Evil. <laughs> yeah. I wanted him to have a red eye. That would have been cool. But, and not... What you find when you're searching red eyes is you get like bloodshot eyes. And I was like, okay, I don't want a bloodshot eye. And I don't want what everyone else has been putting on their mm -hmm. horse, which is just... Some of it looks fake. Well, I just don't like it. I like it to look, okay, as real as possible, even though there is no horse like this. This horse doesn't exist. Right. It's more of a mythical thing. 
so. So I'm just going in and adding it and then I'll go down the other side of the frame and I think that's all they originally intended you to do because there's so much of the top that hangs over um okay orange yeah see there's only one more red I might need you to cut me some more red and if that's the case then people get to see a demo you have to go in the closet though and get red which will be nice because that red won't be all funky and twisted this is not the end of the row because i don't want to steal from the other one i actually want to finish that one so kaylee can have it so yeah because he only gave me i have three orange two gold and two red and i definitely need I'm probably padding it more than I should, but you guys know me. I like my wrist to look full. Steve's like, great, should have made it thinner. So I can take this and move him down because now his mane's actually starting to lay the way it's supposed to. Now that I get the under ones underneath. Now the top ones lay on top of the under ones. Do you want me to take that and plug that in for you? Okay. Yeah. So again, I'm just going into the canvas and then around the actual wire frame. And I'll show you what it looks like. On the bottom and I'm finished. So now we're back to gold. I like the way the ombre, even though we didn't set out to make it an ombre looking, it kind of looks this way. Ooh, I can read comments. Yeah. Everyone's like, yes, just doing wood burning. Yeah, there's the key, making sure you have the right shade of red. Because we could have went burgundy. That's yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Craft outlet. Craft outlet. Okay. I think it's coming out good, babe. Now that this stuff's starting to lay where it should, now it'll kind of. Okay. I need orange and you can have me red and yellow and then I think that should be added every way okay. do you, you don't need any more yellow or gold um I don't know see I've got to go up the other <clears throat> side this way okay. so I'm just doing um, I'm just tracing the outline of the frame right now are you trying to Read yeah, so many. Jean said one mesh fell on the floor, but I think you already got it. Yeah. I think I got it. I think that was one of the ones I grabbed from the very beginning. That would be so awesome if it was one of the red ones. I'd be like, nope, yeah. we're good. We got them all. So here's, here's a wood burning tool. I posted a link um, just a second ago from Amazon. It yeah. comes in this kit, which is black and orange. It has all the pieces, it's like 44 piece kit. 20 bucks, but you can find them cheaper, much cheaper somewhere else. Yeah, I think Walmart had them for like mm, 15, 15 yeah. But you just need one, like our temperature on this one is set to 450 degrees. So as long as your wood burning tool can heat to 450. This one has a little temperature knob on it. You can actually adjust the temperature on it. Then you should be good. Yep. And it cuts very easy. This one is a, an angular tip, if you can see it. Yeah, it kind of looks like a steak knife. Kind of looks like a, the end of a steak knife, yeah, how it's angled. Because it's kind of got like a... Yep. I'm trying to always think of like, how do you describe that? What would you describe it as? Kind of like the end of an X-Acto knife. Yeah. The angle of the blade. And then the, the glass wood cutting mat, or the wood, or the, not the wood, but the glass uh, cutting board is from Walmart. And I'm going back up. 
Almost ready. What? So it's almost ready to cut. Almost ready to cut, and then it just it goes through the deco mesh like butter. It just makes it really nice because then you don't have an awful lot of fraying. I actually have more debris from the burlap on my mat. I have one, two pieces of deco mesh fray. That's it. So you just cut really quick. Yeah, it's kind of like a chisel end. That's it. Chisel. Thank you. Yeah. I was like, what's the name of that? So you just take the end along and just kind of, you don't even have to go very um, hard at all. It just cuts right through once it's hot to the temperature. I'm just taking. And it cauterizes and burns the ends so it doesn't fray. So it looks like how when you buy your decomesh and it's got those finished ends, it's like that. Yep. But it's melted. You just want to make sure that you're supposed to be doing it in a well ventilated area. Because if you take it, like drag it too slow, it really starts to melt. And then once it melts, it gives off all these fumes. How many more do you cut? I don't know. Um, maybe two of each. So I got two red, you want two more? No, just that. And then two gold, okay. Yep. That'll finish it. And he's almost finished, and I'm really liking I like the fullness of his mane down here. It looks amazing. This up here is just his starters. But I think once we get it finished, it's going to look amazing. And I'm glad we did him. Because he'll make the perfect wreath for someone who does not want a wreath wreath, but just wants something a little different. For now, I'm having to go back in. Melody, yes, I'm left-handed. <laughs> and add. So, of course, doing this and trying to attach it to the end makes it a little challenging. How would I do it differently? I probably would have kept going straight down. Um, what? And then I'm just going to no. more pieces. Using the wood burning tool on this on this deco mesh, the standard deco mesh, probably cuts down 90% of the frame. Yeah, literally I have two pieces of frame from yep. me attaching and fastening all this deco mesh to the horse. I have more burlap dust than yep. anything. Yep, Denise, it was all cut to 10 inches. So it's 10 inch deco mesh cut to 10 inches, so it's a square. Yeah. Everybody said, yeah, the horse frame is from the wreath shop, but you can get it at Craft Outlet. Mm -hmm. Somebody said right now that you can get it for $3.50. It's an awesome price. I would agree. Yep, you're good. Okay. You awesome. are totally good right now. I'm just adding some filler pieces. Or if I'm standing here looking at it, I can actually see into it. I'm just adding some other pieces to the wreath. Ooh. Just what I call fillers. And then I'll show you what the back looks like, which is probably, I haven't even looked at the back. I can just feel the back, which feels Bella nice. said her Steve is left-handed too. Is it? <laughs> Denise right? said her late husband was left-handed and her son is left-handed. Sandra says she's a lefty. Oh, wow. Go lefties. Lefties over the world unite. I know, right? Okay, so we have two. Melody's left-handed. <laughs> Candy's okay. left-handed. Adding. Jane says her hubby and son are both left-handed. Nope. You're the only left-handed person in our whole house. Yep. Even in our whole extended family, right? Who's left-handed in your family, babe? Nobody but me. Nobody but you. Uh, Wanda, the deco mesh is all 10 inch deco mesh and it's cut to 10 inches. Mm -hmm. And it was all from Craft Outlet. And I'm just using the last couple pieces that Steve cut. Well, there's a lot of lefties this thing. Peggy says she's a lefty. Really? Diane said two or three kids are lefties. Yeah. 
Make America left-handed again. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, Lord. Didn't mean that, but... I'm sure he's amused. Dan, yeah, the wood burning tool is awesome for this type of deco mesh. It's the plastic deco mesh. It works great. Ooh, I can totally hear, hear the sound of the deco mesh. And what's nice about doing the, the pedal technique is that it kind of gives you two, two pieces <clears> in <throat> one because you're doing them kind of folded out. So I'm just pulling these in and around. And I'll show you how we can fix this little piece by his ear. Wow, he came out really amazing. Okay, so let me show you. I have one piece, so I will add him somewhere. Go. You look great right here. Oh, thanks, Valerie. She says she loves us too. <laughs> I love you too. Valerie is amazing. Janet's All daughter is a lefty. There's amazing. a lot of lefty people handed. Wow. See? You have your own group <clears throat> of peeps. Right? Exactly. Are you going to go one more up closer by that? I'm just doing it right here by his... Ear? No. By this piece right here. Oh, gotcha. Right now it just big, looks like a big fur fireball. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I'm just adding one filler piece. of pulling his flames in a general direction. Are you leaving? Oh, why was that? That looked there. Mm. <laughs> He's like, hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, um, I think Kathy put him over. Oh, right here, Isaiah. Sorry. Taking <laughs> my keys. You can't leave. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like so far. I'm going to hold that up so Steve can readjust. Down just a little bit. There you go. I can see it. If I down it. No, just like that. That's perfect. Okay. And this is the ugly back. Mm -hmm. Which I would cover up. I'd probably just do a couple pieces of black felt. Or you could pull black felt or black burlap all over the top of that. But when you pull the mane, it kind of sticks where it's where you want it to go. Now it has those under layers. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So for the front, remember how I told you that sometimes his it's kind of sticking up, and mm -hmm. I want it to lay more like this. Mm -hmm. This is where we flip it over, like so. And I know it's kind of hard to see because this is sticking up. But this is where you take your zip ties and you're going to simply kind of pop it through an edge of his forelock where it's not staying, like these ones are not laying in the same general direction I want them to. So I'm going to take a zip tie. I'm going to attempt. Because remember it's all covered up now. It keeps hitting that frame. There we go. We're putting our zip I tie in. I said Diablo is a name she likes for the horse. What is it? Diablo. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you can see what I'm doing is I'm taking it and I'm pushing it through the pieces of deco mesh that are not lame the way they should the way they should so i'm basically taking them and pulling them down and then i'm going to take my zip tie and i'm going to zip tie them that's what happens with the little buggers who don't want to lay down and cut them off just like so so that when we flip them over his forelock stays in the same general direction that I need it to stay. Yeah. And then what I would do 
on the back side with these pipe cleaners. You could totally take it and make it look really clean by taking them and Wrap twisting them. them all together so that they kind of form a pattern and that they're all kind of yeah. twist tied together. You can do that all the way along here, all the way along here. You or can you can just find the them all here. and put felt over the whole thing. Yep. <laughs> For me, I'd probably just give them a couple extra twists like so, so that you don't have all those individual pieces sticking up. You definitely want to incorporate something. You can do the same all the way down the main, but I'm sure you guys get the gist of it. Jean asked, can we see where the main meets the head hair pieces? The main or the... <clears throat> so I guess right here in the burlap where the main meets there. Oh, yeah. So this is... If I pull this back, you can kind of see it, but it's supposed to technically be like so, mm -hmm. so that if you grab these, they should tilt forward up against that, but I'll do this just so you can see. That's kind of where they are. So it kind of pokes into the canvas and around the rail. Right. So that when I pull them this way and pull them up towards the back, it's going to give them more of a like a mm -hmm. snug fit this way mm -hmm. so it kind of hugs the dimension of this so now we have to attach his eyeball audrey this would definitely be at least a 24 by 24 by 4 or 24 by 24 by 6 inch box let's see what it measures it measures a lot fuller but you can scrunch the deco mesh down yeah you could easily take this and and yeah. fit it in in the box yeah. the way that you want it to right now it's about 26 or 28 inches long but that's just because the deco mesh is so full yeah because this goes one tw almost 24 wide but then remember when you put them in a 24 by 24 diagonal you actually get a little bit more room yeah now we're going to attach his eyeball which because most people are attaching like buttons Yep. Let me show you what his eyeball looks like. Can you zoom in on that? Yeah. This is his eye. Three, two, one. Okay. So that's his eye. Okay. Got it. And then on the back, it's done like a button, so you can actually, like, sew it on. So obviously, our horse is going to need his eyeball. <laughs> kind of have to see it this way. We want to make sure that it's facing up and not sideways because you don't want them to have, yep. they don't have sideways eyeballs. It'd be straight up and down. Yeah, so we can definitely put some felt on the back of this. Right now we only have green felt, but you would basically to... take a, an, another horse head wreath frame form and draw an outline on the outside of it around the felt. Do the same thing, cut the felt out. And then you could actually just hot glue the felt to the frame all the way around it. Yeah, that's what I would do. So I'm going to take my half pipe cleaner, I'm going to twist it on his eyeball because we actually got the other one to work really well. Mm -hmm. And i got to kind of see where I want him, where his eye is in relation to the rest of him, which looks like it's right here. Does that look right for you? Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. it's actually going to go. Karen, she bought the eye also on Amazon. I did. It's a 30 millimeter. That's not oh. it. That's not oh, it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's from Amazon. I'll post the link for the eyeball. I actually went and looked for, I guess they call them stuffed animal eyes. So they're what people would use, or taxidermy eyes. Mm -hmm. They're what people would use for taxidermy or stuffed animals. And so I just went right through the burlap with his eye. So there is our horse with his eye. So that's what he looks like when he's all done, guys. Someone said they have glass eyeballs at Cracker Barrel. I don't. Oh, Halloween eyeballs. Halloween eyeballs would not yeah, be appropriate not like for this. this. This is like those are like human eyes that are bloodshot. But that works out perfectly. Just taking a pipe cleaner and then popping it through the deco mesh 
and then it looks perfect. And then what we would have to do, obviously, because there's no way to really fasten this. So you, you can do a hanger for it? Yeah, can you get me the, a longer pipe cleaner? Because I cut all my pipe cleaners down. And then we will put them on the door so you can see what it looks like. There you go. But he needs a hanger. So yes, you can put a hanger on the back. You just tie it from one side of the rail to the other side of the rail. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. I want to go from one side of his ear to the other side. Let me twist it and then go to the other side, like Steve said. Give it lots of likes, a lot of loves if you love it. Thanks. Trying to get it under the rail. Uh, Jean Katz said that this would sell for about 80 or 85 dollars. I think she's got it listed for 85. Yes, I would definitely sell this for 85. And you don't want the hanger to go past the ear because that would just look funky to have your hanger higher than his ear. Mm -hmm. So I'm keeping it below the ear level. So it's like right here. Zoom so a nice we can. Right here. Now I get to fluff his mane. So there it is. It's and all done. What I will do is I will. What are you doing? I will move the door all the way over. Huh? I'll do it. I'll bring the door actually all over. You're bringing the door? Yeah. So you can sit over oh. here and I'll bring the door. He's going to carry the door. So you can see it. I can hold the door. Okay. Yeah, it's not that heavy. I can lean it against the counter. So that's what it looks like. So it looks way cool. What do you guys think? Like, don't like, not your thing. It's just another technique for creating something totally different. Yeah, one on this one because it's like a nightmare. It's a wild horse. She's not going to put a bridle on it. No. He, so would no not, he would not be a tamed horse. Yep. That's the, uh, you could, because then you would just like go across his nose and behind his, um, behind his ear and make a bridle, but I did not want a bridle for this one. I didn't, that's just me. I just didn't have a preference for it because he's supposed to be a spooky horse, which means that nobody would ride him yep. except like the headless horseman or like ghost rider, right? Yep. So that is my nightmare horse. So, and you can see it turned out pretty good. And then, um, so I'm gonna try to hold this. No, it's okay. I got it. Multi-purpose. Yeah, go ahead and go. I don't say. So if you guys wanted to do a unicorn, they do make unicorn horns so that Wanted to, you could put a, yeah, right. up here, right? I think. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, right, kind of where you have the other deco mesh. Yeah, somewhere in here. You could do a unicorn horn, but they have unicorn horns that I think somebody made these, so it kind of looks like you would just attach this somewhere in voila. Yep. There we go. Unicorn <laughs> horn. There you go. Yep. So. You could technically make a unicorn. So they sell these on Etsy, and I think these are like four inch, four inch foam unicorn horn. I guess, yeah, six, yeah. It's four. Four? Uh, five. Five. Okay. Yep. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you like him. Um, now you know how to great. make them. Now you can, like I said, change out your burlap, change out the mane. So the way that you saw me do it, I think we did, Steve cut an extra two because you said that you only cut a total of 48. Right. So I did need a couple more pieces. 
Um, so 50 to 55 would be perfect. Just go all the way along the main, then go down the bottom, go down, go across, go back up, and then you can add a couple pieces in the middle if you have anything left. But you don't really need to fill the entire middle because I could, did not. Or you could actually bring the burlap all the way down to the bottom and just have you your main could, on the end. Yeah. But I think it looks better having it kind of wrap around and then roll around to the front. Yeah. All right. Any other questions you guys have before we let you go to the lovely start of your work week? Yep. Not my favorite part, but. That's all it. Right. All right. We will let you go. We will post pictures of this so you guys can have the pictures. Private group, you'll have the material list. So I'll give you all the SKUs for everything. And then um, I will talk to my private group tomorrow at noon. So I don't have to worry about that because we're in, we're on laptops, so we're good. Right? Yep. Okay. Well, have a great evening. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully you guys learned at least three more techniques how to do this. And we will talk to you next Friday where we're going fall. All of August is all fall related. So Halloween is all wrapped up, moving on towards fall. So Horn, you would probably just glue on to the burlap on the very top. You could. For the unicorn, yeah. I would just take a okay. needle and thread and sew it on. There you go. Just make sure it didn't come off. Okay. No gluing required. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining us.